And so the other players right now in AI, Jeffrey Hinton won the Nobel Prize mm. this year for his work. Mm -hmm. I think he was He's, quite warning and skeptical of Altman and OpenAI. What do you make of what he thinks about the industry? Well, I, th I think he and I sort of, I'm probably closer to him than just about anyone else. Okay, in, concerned. In the area. He's, he's very worried. And he's a genius, right? He's, he's the grandfather of the whole thing. He's the guy behind, you know, the algorithms that enabled all this, you know, machine learning and, and, and so forth, you right. know, deep learning. And right. He, he, he largely invented it. So you respect uh, oh, his opinion tremendous. on that? Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, he's, he's the eminence, yeah, the eminence grease okay. of the whole field. Okay. I feel like, you know, the public now has started to sleep on this. And look, when ChatGPT came out, everyone opened up their eyes. Mm. I personally went down a, a dark road for six months. I spoke to you. I spoke to Max Tegmark. I spoke mm. to Mo Gaudet. I spoke to Diamandis. I spoke to Gertzel a bunch of times. And I got very worried and I got little boys and I was thinking about their future. And, you know, then I processed it and I kind of moved on. And I feel like this last year, Hugo, the whole public has just not even thought about AI. And of course, there's a couple conversations of don't worry, we'll give you universal basic income. Don't worry, you can focus on art and you won't have to have mm -hmm. a job mm -hmm. and everything's going to be okay. But I feel like most people, if you start in the public, are not concerned about AI at all, even less so than a year ago mm -hmm. at the chat. GPT yeah, world. I agree. You agree? Yeah. And this complacency, even Washington, D.C., they were like, okay, Altman was there, everyone was worried about it, and now they just moved on to other things. They're not worried about it, or they feel like they've been satiated with whatever claims. That feels like it's even more dangerous right now because this is growing exponentially. Mm -hmm. Everyone's developing this. They're putting tons of compute. They're building nuclear reactors. They're going to restart Three Mile Island as a nuclear reactor and put all the power into you know, Facebook was going to build a new nuclear reactor, but they couldn't because of some bee species there that came out recently. <laughs> and meanwhile, this is growing at an exponential rate mm. and no one's talking about it. Mm. I, think, I think it's partly because it's sort of commitment down the same path. And, and as a result of, result of that, we haven't had, like, what, what happened to GPT-5? I'm still, you know, twiddling my thumbs waiting for it to happen. I'm, I'm waiting for the next big breakthrough. Right. And it hasn't happened. So or it's not public. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Joining the investment club can bring you the opportunity for peace of mind, wealth, resources, community, and a more joyful time. It was a whole new world for me to hear about cryptocurrency, an alternative to the traditional banking system that we have. The Investment Club gives us a chance to think about what wealth really is, to have the freedom to live your life that you want. In just one month that I've been a part of the Investment Club, I have listened to so many visionaries with new ideas in the world of music, in the world of finance, in the world of artificial intelligence. When I have questions, there's members of the club willing to support and help and want to see one another gain experience and knowledge. And, <laughs> and so when you think about this, you know, you ask yourself some, some questions sometimes and you start to think, well, like, what are these artifacts going to be like? And you've asked yourself sometimes, like, what do they think about? You know, what do you think their goals will be? You know, what do you think that will be all about? And for the humans that are listening to us, what's the best way to get their head around this? Because humans usually ask stupid questions like, how will we die? And I think last time we talked about it and said, you won't even know why. It'll just happen and it won't make any sense. Just like a cow before he dies doesn't realize that he's meant to be a burger for someone in Hong Kong mm -hmm. and they just, they're dead and they'll never be able to understand it because they can't comprehend mm -hmm. the motivation. Well, pr probably several things I could say. One is a human being, like, like, could you teach calculus to a mouse? No way. It's too dumb. So asking what would Artlex think about to humans, we're too dumb. Yeah, we just no way we're ever going to be able to answer that. But we can sort of guess to some extent uh, because there's so many mysteries as humans. Like, why are the laws of physics the way they are? Now, there's, there's really deep metaphysical questions that humans have. We have no clue. Right. 
So um, you know, one, one big speculation I made was the uh, the f- the fast yeah the smaller the faster. So there may be whole vast hyper intelligent civilizations at tiny tiny scales. And what what could they do? Or possibly they may be so smart and have such a thorough understanding of how uh, the universe works. They they might be able to manipulate. They might be able to modify the laws of physics. So if they can do that, maybe they could actually build universes. So so if that happens, if if ever humanity could sort of get a get their intellectual hooks into that idea somehow and verify it, then you then there'd be this huge paradigm shift away from natural philosophy, in other words, physics, to godlike engineering. You know, that, that's really deep. Yeah. So, so maybe all this, all this universe, is some little kid hyper Artelex high school project or something. Hey. I know investing in crypto is scary. It takes a real leap of faith because there are so many scams, rug pulls, and bad actors out there. It's a dangerous business, which is why 95% of people lose all their money. Well, that's why I created the London Real Investment Club, so you can access the hottest deals on the planet and use the crypto bull market to create the generational wealth that you deserve. Join my team of over 100 people from around the world that are making millions of dollars behind the scenes investing in blockchain, AI, Web3 games, DeFi, Bitcoin, and more. Don't miss out. Click the link below to book a call with one of my team now. But hurry, this bull market will end soon. I know investing crypto can be scary. That's why you gotta join the investment club. Pull the trigger. Let's do this.